Three. Hello! Welcome to Team at Tuesdays with me, Kevin. I'm coming to you from Magoosh headquarters in Berkeley. And today we're talking about critical reasoning questions. Specifically, we're going to look at strengthening um, questions, where you're asked to strengthen the argument. Um, and so this is one of the more common question types you're going to see uh, in the critical reasoning section. Strengthening, and then kind of its uh, sister question is the weakening um, one, which we'll do in another video. But it's going to be very similar. So we're going to look at how to identify uh, ways to strengthen, strategy, and common wrong answers. So let's dive in. Um, so very important to know how to identify these question types. Um, so usually they're always going to start with something like this. Which of the following, if true? Um, and then after that, you'll get something that looks or sounds like this. So most strongly justifies, tells me I'm going to strengthen something, provides the best reason for the explanation. So best reason provides the most support for the argument. So most support. Um, so you can see here there's some strong clues that are going to tip you off to the fact that you're dealing with a strengthening question. Um, an important thing to consider here is there's a couple of ways that you can strengthen an argument. Um, you can strengthen an argument uh, by reinforcing the premises or adding a new premise. You can strengthen an argument by reinforcing an assumption or taking an assumption and actually stating it as a premise in the argument. And you can also weaken an objection. And this could be a possible objection that's stated or one that's implicitly um, a part of the argument. But the key here is to notice we need to think about the most strongly justifies or the best reason, which means you have to compare your five answer choices. And sometimes you might be given two of these within your answer choices, and then you're left with deciding what is the best way to strengthen an argument. Well, luckily, I have the answer. Does anyone want to take a guess as to which one of these best strengthens the argument? Anyone out there? No? No? Oh! Oh! Did I hear the second one? Yes. Strengthening an assumption is the best way to strengthen an argument. If you strengthen the premises, you're only building on top of what's already there. If you weaken an objection, you're um, allowing the argument to stand on its own and maybe moving out of the way some obvious objections or criticisms of the argument. But the best way to actually strengthen an argument, to make it stronger, is to take an assumption, something that wasn't stated but is a bridge between the premises and the conclusion and making it a part of the argument. And so look for an answer choice that takes an assumption from the, the argument and um, that is going to be your best answer choice. So always, always, always look out for an assumption in the answer choices because that's going to be the best way to strengthen the argument. Okay, let's move on to strategy. Um, so four basic steps here. Since these passages are so small, usually I recommend uh, starting with the question. So go ahead and rephrase the question. You want to look for clues and hints and obviously figure out what question type it is. So once you figure out it's a strengthening question, then you're going to attack the argument, and that doesn't mean criticize it, it just means break it apart. Find the conclusion, find the premises, think about some assumptions, um, and it always helps for me to kind of think about it in my own terms, to not really use the terms that are in the argument, because sometimes there's lots of words that I don't know, um, they make up a lot of nouns, and they make up a lot of companies in these arguments, so it's best to just process it, put it into your own words, and you're going to understand the argument much better that way. Um, after that, you want to seek an assumption or an unsupported premise. Um, so at this point, you want to see where is there a gap in the argument? Where is there a premise that is mentioned or an aspect of the conclusion that is mentioned, but there doesn't seem to be very strong support for it? Or it's been implied that there's support, but it just isn't stated. So that's going to be a good clue um, for looking through the answer choices. You'll use it to evaluate the answer choices. And don't obsess over this step. If you spend 15, 20 seconds thinking about um, assumptions and premises, 
that's fine. If you don't come up with anything in that time, just move on. You don't want to waste a lot of time in this step. And then finally, step four, you're going to eliminate the wrong answers. Remember, there's more wrong answers than right answers. They're easier to see. They're easier to find. So improve your odds with finding the right answer by getting rid of all of the common wrong answers, which we have here. Um, so one thing that they love to do is to give you an answer choice that weakens the argument when you've been asked to strengthen the argument. And they love to do it the opposite for weakening questions as well. So they want to see if you're paying attention. They want to see if you actually remember that this is a strengthening question. Um, these are usually pretty easy to find if you're on the lookout for them. Um, I feel like this is a trap for students who are starting to get tired or lose focus at the very end of the test. Um, another common wrong answer choice is repeats what we know. So this is when they take something that's already stated and just state it in a new way. So usually this might be a fact from the argument, it might be a premise, and all that they've done is take that out of the argument, put it in an answer choice in a new form, they paraphrased it. Um, so stating something we already know isn't going to change the argument, it's not going to make it stronger, so eliminate. Um, and always they like to include something that's a little off topic, something that might be unrelated. Um, Oftentimes, these can stand out as well, where you read it and you're like, wait a second, were we talking about that? I don't remember that. And if that ever happens, good chance it's off topic and unrelated um, and a common wrong answer. So go ahead and eliminate that as well. So I have some examples here in the official guide that you can go look at. Um, questions 11, 14, 17, and 19 in the 13th edition are all strengthening questions. So you can go and do some practice and take a look. See if you can find some of these common wrong answers. I've actually listed um, the question number and the answer choice that demonstrates these common wrong answers. So weakens the conclusion if you go look at question 14. Answer choice D, um, you'll be able to see what this common trap looks like. Well, uh, that is all that I have for you today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday out there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, section below or uh, shoot, shoot us an email um, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, be excellent to the universe and I will see you soon.